the laws of nature have not yet identified a dog, male dog, living with a male dog. <laughs> Nor a male cat living with a male cat. Dogs have not yet been identified in the laws of nature. So, it is very simple. I don't need anyone to intellectualize any such thing for me. Because I will never be able to rationalize or reach a conclusion in life, and I said this before, where I can accept a man marrying a man. So don't bring any intellectual argument to me. If you want to have that kind of relationship, feel free to do so. But I will not go to any parliament any parliament and legitimize such. You know, I said this already in parliament and I was attacked. In fact, from the time I said it, my personal assistant came to me. This was um, Cranston Brown. I remember that a girl, a homosexual, was elevated to the highest position in the Catholic Church in the United States. And I said that I will never be able to understand it. After the, my delivered my speech, I was approached. And Cranston Brown asked me, he said, um, Clyde, David asked me whether or not your position is the party's position. I said, what? Uh, what party's position? Well, I can't speak. I can't speak on behalf of the party in this matter. This is like hanging or abortion. There's no way. I am speaking on behalf of my master. This is how I feel about this matter. And then nobody can get me to intellectualize it. I don't have any discussion about it in public because I, I know only too well how those who are atheists feel. They work, they use the Bible, they read it more than you do, because they have to in order to defeat your argument. And if you ever try to use the scriptures to justify certain doings, you are not going to be able to convince an intelligent man. Now, years ago, I brought something to the attention of the public, and I was basically attacked. But the second most important item in the food index of Barbados is eating away from home. Chicken is the most important food item in Barbados. It is the thing on which Barbadians spend most of their money with respect to food. But think of it. If you have a household of father, mother, two children going to school and they go to work. You know that you could spend an awful lot of money at lunchtime because it is far more expensive to buy lunch than it is to prepare a bowl of cuckoo with some salmon or rice with some chicken wings. So therefore, eating away from home worldwide has become a major component of the cost of living index of countries. But apart from that, the electricity bill. Now what happened? Water and these things and being conservative. Huh? John Chapman will tell you that no minister, no minister, the last God shall will tell you, no minister chairs a statutory board. That a member of a statutory board in Barbados can support that minister, no is chairing statutory board in a worrisome and troublesome thing. The Lord God Show and John Chesley will also tell you that there is a convention at the level of government. We will just take up money and spend it so you will have to get at least three quotations. Not true? Yeah. To say what is the most reasonable place? But we are holding in our hands the makings the making of the evidence which suggests that uh, there is a, a railroad dice cavalier attitude with the public purse taking place in this country. Not no other 
this, but this is where we now get it back to vision. There is more here, but it will come at a more appropriate time. What we have to do, or what we can escape from doing, is to maintain the utmost vigilance. Because questions will have to be answered. Are you first of all going to find out the value of the church? Because how this came to me was that the concern is that the contract may be more valuable than the church. When we were in office, the UWI presented to us a very aggressive growth program. One of the things they wanted to do was to increase the output of students so that we are preparing more and more skills to take the economy forward. They wanted to earn more revenue by selling the same services to people from overseas so that they could earn foreign exchange and that we would be able to be in a position to add more and more services to UE. But the DLP, when they came to office, obviously never thought of the UWI as a part of their overall strategy. Because it is now not a centerpiece of what it is they're doing. If they had taken the time to talk with the UWI, they would have discovered that it was diversifying its offering because it wanted to generate the skills necessary for the jobs in the future. So UWI is looking at financial management. Why? Because they need to produce the skills we need for the offshore so that we can keep growing that and getting higher and higher paying jobs for our people. They diversified into the cultural studies because we are pursuing a program where we want to take the wonderful skills that our young people have and showcase that cultural talent across the world because they can earn millions of dollars in culture. They went into environmental studies because that is the way of the future. They went into med the medical faculty as well. Why? Because we are looking as a country towards medical tourism and in order to do medical and health tourism, you need to have the skills available to you to draw on that you can earn money from medical and health tourism. Therefore, assisting the university had to be a first priority of any government that was looking for a pathway out of the difficulties that we are having right now in our economy. That would have to be the centerpiece of what you are doing. But no, what has this government done? Instead of helping the university and giving it some support for getting ready for its accreditation and meeting accreditation requirements, instead of facilitating the university with just partnering initiatives, this government instead gave the university financial cuts and competition.